I'm Elizabeth Sawyer reporting live from the Treeline Lake community where law enforcement officials have discovered the abandoned car of missing woman Maria Soto. Behind me, crime scene investigators are searching Soto's car, looking for evidence that could help them piece together her disappearance. You may remember Soto disappeared several months ago, last seen by friends leaving a club in downtown Shreveport. Her family and friends urge anyone with information about her disappearance to contact authorities immediately. Detective Kaysen. All right. Yeah, sound, sounds good. I'll let him know. Thanks. Hey, man. Yeah. The convict's here. Good. You ready? I think so. All right. Let's do this. All right. I'll bring him in. Talk to me. Shut up, man. It's okay. I got this. Yeah, Albert. I would like to talk to you. Tail. Sorry? Tail, cop. My name's Tail. Okay, Tail. I'm Detective Morell. I specialize in behavior science and murder cases. For crazy people? Not crazy. I try to help individuals who are going through a rough or trying time. I don't need no help, fool. Well, according to your file, you've been incarcerated for the last four years. You've murdered two while inside, and that doesn't include the woman you murdered. Which is what locked you up here to start with. I was wrongfully accused. How original. We've all heard that before. Maybe I can help you. What I'd like to do is help you to understand why you felt, why you felt like you had, had to murder Maria Soto. I would like to help you understand something. I do what I want, when I want. That's how I roll, detective. And I ain't murder nobody. Let's, let's talk about your relationship with Maria Soto. I ain't got no relationship with Maria Soto. Really? You think this file's empty? We know about your relationship. You mean a murder? You just think you're really smart, don't you? Detective, I ain't nothing but a common old hood rat. You know, you're right, Till. You are a hood rat. A hood rat that was rejected by Maria Soto that night in the club. Think so. so what did you do? You decided to kidnap her. Shut up. Shut up. Kill her. And 
and ditch your body. Didn't you? Didn't you? Man, you crazy. I ain't kill that girl. So what makes sense, Tell? What do you think the jury's gonna believe? Man, you don't know Jack. I don't know what no jury believes. I'll tell you what I do know. I know a jury is gonna believe that you were with Maria that night at the club. And when she rejected you, you couldn't handle it. And, and so you, you kidnapped her. And, and you murdered her. Man, so how'd I do that? I'll tell you how you did it. You told her about all the things you could promise her. Nice clothes, expensive jewelry, all the fine things in life. And when that didn't work for you, you kidnapped her. I kidnapped her. And you took her to a location where you thought no one would ever find her. And you buried her. Just to make sure that no one ever would find her. Man, so where'd I bury the body? Woods, field, maybe you dumped her in the lake. I don't know, but what I do know is you killed her. That's what I did? Yeah. That's what I did? Yeah. That's what you did? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You didn't mean to? No. No, you wait. You're trying to trick me. You're the one who murdered her. It's okay, Morel. Make me understand. You killed her. Now you're trying to frame me. She was a nobody. And she was out to get me. I had no choice. Hey, girl. You remember me? I don't know you, weirdo. What can I get you, man? You have something strong. Something real strong. Shut up.
She hurt you, Morel. She tried to ruin me. Why didn't she love me? Why wasn't I good enough for her? She wouldn't even be nice to me. It was her decision, Morel. She already had someone. She did it. I didn't want to. She made me do it. <laughs> I know you didn't want to. Where is she at? Where is she at, Morel? Where is she? I took her. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I took her to Treeline Lake. It's okay, Morel. I gave her a proper burial there. I did. I, I loved her. <laughs> I loved her so much. <laughs> I know you did. Sorry, buddy. You're under arrest. You've got the right to remain silent. Anything you say is going to be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can't afford one. You'll be appointed to represent you free of charge. I really appreciate you coming down for this interview, man. I, I just wouldn't have dreamed in a million years, man, that Morel would even be capable of murder. Hey, sometimes it's hard to see what's right there in front of you. Well, man, we really, really appreciate your talents. Love it. Thank you. Hey, you guys did a great job. Call me anytime. Well, thanks, man.